Saw this on the subreddit, liked it. Who doesn't like cats? He's got the little beard thing and he's doing the blepper face. Okay, gotta love it. Just welcome back to r slash Jeff Neckbeard Things. Oh no, man, you gotta understand. She's a 500-year-old witch trapped in the body of a 12-year-old. It's perfectly illegal. Stop getting worked up over a drawing. Yeah, rewatch Megamind. <laughs> this fits better than a universal tool. You think you're oppressed? Try being a gamer. Us gamers are constantly under attack by the right and left wing. Constantly getting friend-zoned and attacked all for enjoying a hub that actually improves your critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Put that in your pipe and a smoke in America. I never knew that Reddit comment was an English essay. LMAO. It's the real world. No one cares about a few misspelled things. Do you also do that when you talk? Educated people find it an eyesore when they have to read your gibberish attempts to be honest. Weirmoo, I want to frick that anime girl so bad. Take it easy, it's just a drawing. I am so glad this episode wasn't made in Japan. Because he was a man of non-violence. Also, he was Indian. When one promotes non-violence to that extent, they are supporting the instigator of violence. He is right next to Nittler in heck, in my opinion. As Morty said, at least Nittler loved his country or something. Gandhi didn't value human life enough to regard it as being worthy of defending. That's almost as evil, almost worse in some ways. Why would it matter that he is Indian? Because his country wasn't fighting Nittler? And uh, are you freaking using Rick and Morty to say that Nittler was better than Gandhi? I feel like I need to wash my hands for typing that. I'm not arguing any of your points, but British India absolutely declared war on Yahtzee Germany and fought against the Nittler. Eh, sometimes I love this centering thing. <laughs> Being a neat is way harder than being a normal productive member of society, and should be rewarded. The virus has affected the world, and people are literally dying to return to their normie lifestyles. They literally risk their lives just to meet up with their buddies. This shows that being neat is a very difficult skill that should be rewarded with the highest of compensations. The neat is truly hardworking and a miracle of nature. Neat should be compensated with salaries akin to the top one percentile of wage slaves. Also, what they do not understand is that neating is actually productive. Neating is actually a social justice activity in which we use the power of audit to rebel against the evils of society. Really pushing the limits on this human intelligence thing, aren't you? For anybody that doesn't know, needing is basically when you live as a hermit. As you know, madness is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. You're really idolizing the wrong type of person in life, aren't you? To the unbelievably sexy girl at Walmart today. Walmart in Falcon around lunchtime, you had on a green tank top. You didn't have a bra on, and I could see your gorgeous pierced nopples. And softly poking out of the front of your shirt, you walked by, and I had an amazing view of your side, Badonga. You were stunning, dude. That the fuck? This is the only site that's worse for misconnections than for Craigslist. I think I just broke. Females are useless, but being a fat one is actually a gosh darn disgrace. That's like doubling up the uselessness. If you're not a girl, you're a soy sissy frog cluck. I'm my own friend, but I still need a little bit of company and a bunch of females and kids and love, but not too much love. You know, I never realized you could be both lonely and picky and not figure out how they relate to each other. I have a machete I keep under my bed for home defense. It's shaped like an old Roman gladius. Its blade is high carbon steel, and it's extremely sharp. I could absolutely kill a man with it if he's not wearing armor. Am I going to have to start carrying it around Dallas? Florida man, what are you doing in Texas? Get out of there. Do you want to date me? Then I have to shatter your dreams. I am in a relationship with two hot women. They are also loyal subscribers of me. YouTube megastar blank. Please don't cry, dear lady. A woman walks into the husband's store and speaks to the salesman. He says, this store has four floors. Each floor has progressively better men on it. You can go up to whatever floor you want, but you can never go back down. The woman walks through the first floor full of six foot tall men. I can do better, she thinks to herself. She goes to the second floor full of men who are over six feet and with high paying jobs. I can do better, she thinks to herself. She proceeds to the third floor full of men who are six foot tall, have high paying jobs and massive chickens. I can do better, she thinks to herself. 
She arrives on the fourth floor. There is nothing there but the salesman. Where are all the men? Asked the woman. The salesman turns to her, shaking his hand and says, There are no men here. This floor exists only to prove that women can never be satisfied. He then shows her to the exit. The fact that it isn't funny aside, why the frick you posted on this? Why did I post the truth? To expose the vile and virus-like object we claim are women. Thank you for admitting you're the problem on the post about women never being satisfied. What? The post about women going up in the store and not being satisfied was posted by me. It seems to have shown up on Neckbeard, which is odd as I don't have a beard. Bruh, you don't need to have a beard to be considered a neckbeard. Wow, I never thought a girl would play the Witcher. LOL, did you play it just because your boyfriend recommended it? Doubt you found it on your own. I've always enjoyed gaming, and I found this game by myself, and I very much enjoy the game. I don't need men to enable me in finding interest. Okay, but that sounds freaking fake, lol. Girl gamers are honestly ruining gamer culture, and you're just a poser. No, actually, you're the one ruining gamer culture because you're trying to say people can't be gamers just because they're girls. My darling, you will be with daddy soon. Uh boy, this is gonna sell so well for all the wrong reasons. Hugs over nugs. You know, honestly, I'm team both hugs and nugs, okay? Is it weird that I want to see your coochie for science? I don't know any other way of asking this. Is it rude? I don't know. I think it's awesome. Go humans! Yeah, there's a better way to ask for this. Just don't. Don't ruin the science team. Nobody wants you to be a part of it. There is a difference between starving yourself and eating healthily, dear girl. Also, healthy at any size is nonsense. Wait a minute, wasn't this the doctor from my 600 pound life? You see Piper at all? I might go to blank. Ha! Huh. Piper? That slot? Yeah, my school is five seconds away from blank. Hey, Parker, why the S word? Cause it's true, she is. Give me the rundown. She almost had messed around with five guys, rejecting me along with it. Dang, how do you know? Rumors, funny thing is, she was wearing a skirt and this kid had a mini fan on blowing fast air below her waist and then her skirt went up and everyone saw her panties. So basically what you're saying is, depending on how she dressed and the fact that she said no to you, you label her as that. Great logic. I'm the prank master. You can never get me back. The only prank that would get me back is if you pooped and didn't wipe and sent me the pic of your booty. Oh no, I shouldn't have told you. Now you know how to prank me. Please, please don't prank me back. I must remain the king. Ew. Only thing you're king of is king of the Code Lyoko lookalike contest. Find adult women with your same maturity level. Stop dating children. Demonizing male norms, such as attraction towards teenagers, is inherently sexist. Stop trying to police the autonomy of other people. Stop being misunderstood. Frankly, you just sound jealous of the fact that women younger than you are getting more attention. But that's just an assumption, albeit it's derived from the fact that that's a common trend upon misunderstood. Also, why is it that so many sexist women tend to be into astrology? And it downvoted for stating facts that pass peer review. I thought it was right-wingers who believe pseudoscience. All right, just gonna open the door. Now frick me. Pull over! Suck me off! Lightning flashes. Portals open and miss clears. How did I get here? Whose DM is this? Okay, just think naked Terminator entrance. Leave my family alone. I'm calling the police. Hmm, understandable. Have a nice day. It should be illegal to be that gorgeous. Sorry, beautiful stranger. Just amongst the chaos, a friendly note. See, honestly, the dude didn't look that bad. It's just the thing is, the personality is what ruins it. You guys need to realize that. So, you know, shower, shave, work on that personality, try to be an actually good impact in society and life, and, you know, things might actually work out for you. Oh boy, I got several questions for this. Like, seriously, just... This is all based off of people's search history. This is how it does an algorithm and then it recommends you stuff to get. I do like the chonky seal pillow though. I can honestly see myself getting one of those. How can I, a 25 male, deal with feeling down because I still have to wait until fall so I can find a cute, tiny, boyish Chinese girlfriend? And will she be okay with me having a small dong? It's not really big at all. Maybe about 3.45 inches and not much girth-wise when erected. Maybe it's good that I like small, tiny, tight women, so this hopefully won't be a problem for us. I wanted to confess my feelings in the summer and finally make love to my crush, a 24 female. But I realize her personality isn't really good, and she let me on by hiding her boyfriend from me, lying slut. So I'll have to find a different cute, tiny, tight, boyish, legal Chinese lolly girlfriend to make her jealous, especially when we get married and have cute hoppa daughters 
that's what she'd get for dating this scrawny ginger loser, 20 male. But I'm still worried my future wife won't like my size, even though I'm jacked, intelligent, and handsome, a white guy. Any advice? And that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you would like to be absolutely amazing and supportive for the channel, be sure to slam the like button, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.